Hey friends, what's going on? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and today I have a practice log video coming your way where I'm going to show you some of the fun I've been having in drop D tuning as I've been picking up my guitar over the past week or so. So over the past week, I have been out in beautiful, beautiful San Diego visiting my in-laws. They live in a fantastically heavenly house. The backyard looks like this. I've been spending a lot of my time uh, as I sneak away sometimes in the sort of garage where there is a fantastic pinball machine. And there's also a guitar that I bring down there and play around. It's been a fun little spot for me to jam. Now I've been learning Rocky Mountain High by John Denver the past couple weeks, okay? This is a fun one, it's in drop D tuning. And as I have sort of been picking up the guitar, I'm trying to challenge myself to sort of stay in drop D and just play around, right? Because in the past, I would learn a song in drop D, I would tune it, I would learn the song, and then I'd get out of there, get back to standard tuning as fast as possible. And that's how it's been for the, you know, almost the 15 years, 20 years I've almost been playing guitar is sort of avoiding those non-standard tunings. But I'm trying to, you know, turn over a new leaf, take off my coat and stay a while when I go to these, these tunings. So um, what I'm going to show you here are some of the things I've picked up with my sort of exploration and with my play. And that's what it's all about. This is like playing, exploring, having fun, right? There's no instruction manual, just, just have at it. And I'm going to show you some of the tips and tricks now. I'm by no means an expert in drop D. I'm sure there's tons of stuff that I don't know, but that's not what this is about. This is about me showing you what I've been practicing, and I'm gonna ask you, if you have any drop D favorite things to do, let me know. Post it in the comments, okay? But basically, drop D tuning. The idea is that your low E string is tuned down to a D, okay? I have a video on how to do this very quickly. You can check it out if you want. The benefit of being in drop D is you can play for one, a D major chord with all six strings, and those bottom three strings are all open, okay? This has a great, rich, deep sound to it. Normally the D is restricted to those thinnest four strings, but now you can go D, okay? Now, what do you need to know about drop D? Uh, first up is, when you're in the key of D, these are the chords you normally are playing with, right? Now, in drop D, some things are different here. There's some things you can't do. For one, is that G chord, which is your common, you know, this is your four chord in the, in the, the key of D, you can't play it with the typical shape. It sounds like this. What's going on there? What's happening is that this low E string, because it's tuned down, this is no longer the G bass note, right? What you need to do is play this note for your G, but then how do you reconcile that with the other G, right? Here's how you do it. First of all, you wanna, for the, the fifth and sixth string are what's interesting here. Basically, what I like to do is put my ring finger here on the fifth fret of the low E string. Okay, that's your G bass note. We're gonna mute the fifth string by just sort of draping our finger into it. And then the rest of the strings in the middle can be open. And then put your index finger down on that I E string. Okay, this is a G major chord, so we can go from a D to a G, okay? This is like the first thing I recommend practicing if you're brand new to drop D. Because then, if you're playing any song and you see a G, you know how to play it, okay? Now there's a few other ways to play G, I'll maybe get to those a bit later, but for the A chord, you can play it the same way. Because you're only playing the thinnest five strings, you don't need this low string. So if we were to do a D to G to A progression, oh, you see what I did? I was putting my thumb over that low E string, because that's habit. When I'm in D, I'm used to doing that. I'm going to start over again. One more time, right? The D. and A. Now, you'll see I'm not as fluid doing this as I normally would be with a D to G to A, but that's what it's all about, it's practicing. Now, that's sort of the, the most important thing I would say. What I've been having a fun time doing, though, is this. Is working up on the thinnest three strings, right? Going from a D, this is a E minor, this is a F sharp minor, and I'll just go, you know, go up and down that little progression there. And I'm letting the thickest three strings stay open, okay? Now these, these three notes are not technically in the E minor scale 
uh, E minor chord and then the F sharp minor chord, but when you're in a drop D tuning, it kind of sounds good just to let it ring, you know, and there's that consistent like droningness, right? Those three notes are droning, right? Listen. Okay, and what's cool about that is you can also do this. These are actually the same three chords. And you can also do them up here. Alright, so what I just showed you there was this simple three chord progression where I'm going from a D to an E minor to an F sharp minor and then back. I did it in three different places on the guitar. Here. And up here. Alright, so that's one little thing you can do. Another thing to keep in mind here is the G and the A voicings can be played up here on the 7th, 8th, 7th fret and on the 9, 10, 9 fret. This is really that D shape. from a D to a G to an A to G, all right? So you start to put these together, you can just have some great fun, you know? Earlier we had this one, which is 11, 10, 10, with those bottom three strings ringing. This is a D. And this is a D here, this 7, 7, 5. So you can sort of, you know, it's almost like um, when I was a kid, we used to go to the river and sort of jump on rocks and like find these cool combos you could do. Like jump from this rock to that rock to that rock and maybe go back again or whatever. It's kind of what you're doing here, right, with this. These are like the rocks. The D is kind of like your home base. That's your big, flat, sturdy, dry rock that you're not gonna slip and bust your butt or fall in the river on. And you really could just improvise, right? Find the groove. fun with it, okay? So that's uh, one little area I've been playing around in. One last one here is this sort of uh, bluesy thing. Watch this. Drop D tuning. Okay, you get the idea there. You can sort of do a 12 bar blues, you can do whatever you want. What's cool is that you start off by, we're only playing the, the thickest two strings here. And basically we want to get good at putting our index finger down and off, down and off on the fifth string, second fret. You can sneak that in if you want, sounds good. And what we're going to do is go to the 5th fret and sort of bar just the thickest two strings on the 5th fret. And then use our ring finger on the 7th fret 5th string. And then back to the D. Let's do go to the G again. To get to the A, you go up 2. So that's a little 12 bar blues thing you could do, uh, or bluesy thing. And you repeat it and do it all over again, okay? So that's some fun you can have as well. So. What I just showed you there are um, a couple things you can do in drop D tuning. You know, you can do the typical D to G to A, 
right? Or you could do this. All the stuff I showed you on the thinnest three strings, and then you could do that sort of drop, uh, that bluesy stuff. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, but please let me know in the comments, if you play in drop D a lot, what do you like doing? Like, what, have I, what am I totally missing here? Let me know. I am by no means an expert. I'm just taking you along on my journey here, and I'm really curious uh, what you might like to do when you're playing around here, all right? I will say on my channel, there are a few songs that are in drop D tuning. Here's what they are, if you want to check them out. I have a lesson for Harvest Moon by Neil Young. That's a really great one. And I also, and I also have this one, which I can't remember the name of right now, but it exists on my channel and you can check that out as well, okay? But uh, hey, my friends, this has been David Potts. I hope you enjoyed this practice log video. Uh, I plan on making a bunch more of them, maybe every week or two, just to let you know what I'm working on. And, uh, and uh, maybe uh, you can pick up something along the way. But uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Tell a friend who might like this. And remember, check out playsongnotes.com. It's my website where you can find the notes and tabs for this video, for all my other videos are there waiting for you. So with that, I'm going to take off for the night and uh, go see a movie. Ant-Man and the Wasp just came out. And I love them Marvel movies, I got to say. So off I go. Have a good one. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.